What is success? What is success to you? What if you gain the whole world, but lose your soul? That's a quote, not verbatim, but maybe it is because I wasn't there to hear it originally and it's been translated so many times. But what does that mean to lose your soul? Soul is described, I think in the Webster's definition as your essence your personality, who you are, the part of you that survives after your body dies. I'm not talking about losing your soul to an eternal hellfire. I'm talking about losing yourself, your peace, your contentment, your happiness. It's really hard to enjoy any kind of monetary success or fame if you climb the ladder, stepping on people as you have gone up it. Whatever you deem success, whatever you want in life, you are not going to enjoy it if you've had to mistreat people to achieve it. We have what we call a conscience, a moral compass that will not let us rest if we do such things. And if we have done such things, we need to go back to those people and make it right the best we can. Make amends to fix those fences, to repair the damage done, or at least to offer to repair it. And then we can have peace within ourselves, within our soul. And I know many times when people talk about the soul, they talk about afterlife, eternity. Well, your soul is within you right now. Your spirit, your essence is who you really are. This body is not who you really are. If you're a carpenter, a painter, a CEO, an executive, a doctor, a lawyer, that is not who you are. Who you are is the essence of you. That is just what you do. These other things is what you do. It's a part you play. It's a character you play in this drama of life. Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage. Men and women are but characters playing their parts. Think about your life. How many parts have you played? If you don't quite understand this. First, you played a part as a son or a daughter as a child, as a first grader, as a grade school student, a high school student, a football player, a tennis player, a musician, you were in band, maybe you were the most popular in school. These are all parts your character plays, but it's not the essence of who you are. And this essence needs to be at peace with itself. Otherwise, you could have all the money in the world, all the fame in the world, but you cannot appreciate it, enjoy it, or be grateful for it. And you miss out on these euphoric states that many people seek through drugs and alcohol. But you can experience these without drugs or alcohol, without any false stimulants. These things are available to you. The human machine is designed to operate in a certain way. And when if it gets off kilter by doing things to other people that it wouldn't want done to itself, then you lose this possibility of this euphoria that you can experience right here on earth. It's what I would call heaven on earth. We each create our own heaven and hell right here. It's a state of consciousness. Now, some of you may say, oh, there's a hell, there's a heaven afterwards, afterlife. Well, that may very well be. But your concern is in this very moment, this moment of eternity. If eternity is forever, and I believe it is, which is the definition of the word, then right now is a little bit of that eternity. Right now, you can experience heaven or you can experience hell. The choice is yours. The golden rule rings very true. 
Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Think about that. <laughs>